Welcome to Venetian Soul Tarot. Today I'm back with a timeless pick a card reading and it's going to be who will you be in your future life. Now keep in mind in the spiritual realms there's no such thing as time. So for the context of this video we will use future life but in truth all your lifetimes are happening at once. It's just a bit much for the mind to try and grasp and understand. So I want you to cast your gaze over these cards and ask your higher self which cards have a message for you. We have pile number one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. If you need to pause the video to meditate further, please do so. But for those of you who are ready, let's get started. Hi, group number one. So for those of you who chose the pile with the serpentine, I'm getting the sense that your next life or the life I'm perceiving here, you're going to be blessed when it comes to marriage and family. I was also hearing you may choose to live a life that's more natural because we do have nature here. And I was also drawn to this woman and I was feeling that she's so comfortable within her own skin. I feel for some of you this lifetime, your current lifetime is perhaps challenging or you faced a lot of challenges when it comes to your sense of identity and your self-worth. For some of you as well, you may have been or felt blocked in love when it comes to matters of the heart because spirit was trying to get you to really learn to honor and connect with your own self and your own truth. It's almost as though this lifetime, once you've developed a certain amount of autonomy, you go into the next lifetime with a strong self sense of self and identity, which enables you and spirit to bring in a really beautiful union. Now we have the strength card and then we have the sun, which does for me represent Leo, uh, but it doesn't have to be. So for some of you, you might be incarnated as a Leo or have Leo prominent, but it, for me, it just shows a very heart centered way of living. Because with this sun card, we have enjoy success and happiness. So for a lot of you, I think the next lifetime, I don't want to say it's going to be easy, but it's going to be a lot smoother than your current one. There's a sense of that a lot of the trials or tribulations you may have had to experience, especially in connection with other people or certain blocks that forced you to look within. Because they've been overcome and you've learnt this wisdom and you've learnt the power of self-love, you're able to come into connection, I feel, with a soulmate and have really beautiful relationships. We also have mountains, stand your ground. And this kind of ties into what I was feeling, that you've developed a strength or a sense of yourself, your identity in this current incarnation. And that skill or that capacity is going to be carried forth into the future. But yet again, we have mountains, we have sun, we have nature. There's a sense that wherever, whatever setting you're in, like I'm almost seeing like, uh, like a cottage or just the country, the natural realm. So I think wherever you end up with your family and your loved one in a future life, I do feel it's got really beautiful picturesque scenery. I'm just being shown like it's almost like a cottage or a home tucked away on the hills or there's a lot of greenery. So and I'm and that's why I was feeling that lifetime is going to be a lot smoother. So for some of you, if this incarnation has been quite dramatic or it's been very tumultuous is what I'm hearing, I think you're going to enjoy the simple things with loved ones. There's a sense that the next lifetime is going to just be really beautiful and pleasant and it's not going to have some of the harsh karmic lessons I think you've learned this time around. Can we also have shaman trust in higher forces? For some of you, you might have a penchant for naturopathy or become a herbalist or a healer. I'm seeing a vision of a woman almost doing some sort of healing work within her home, like having a cute little area or uh, just a healing space. So you might almost attract clients or people that are seeking guidance. You may have... You may have, I'm hearing in this lifetime, we have the owl and wisdom. So I feel as though you have developed a lot of wisdom and you may almost, and yet again, we have the owl. So you may almost be sharing that with others. It's very much, I feel like next lifetime, it's going to be, I don't like the term easy, but smooth in regards to having overcome these obstacles and now you're ready to share. And yet again, we have an owl. For some of you, you might connect with an owl. You might feel like an owl is your spirit animal. But we have white witch be the light. And that's what I'm feeling. You've overcome darkness and transmuted so many obstacles this time around that you're able to be the light for others. 
uh, I think you've reached a purity of consciousness that naturally exudes itself and can connect with others and help them see the truth or help them see the blessings that are around them. Now, we also have love. So for a lot of you, that's what I was sensing. You have really good karma and blessings when it comes to attracting and having a beautiful relationship. And I don't think it's going to be difficult to find this person. And it's just that energy that it's seamless and you come together and are able to have a really beautiful union. And you might also end up having, like, I do see at least two children. It's very much this sense that, you know, you set up a beautiful home and a really in a really natural setting and you kind of work from home or you offer your guidance and spiritual truths to others. Now with innocence, but that's what I was feeling with this lifetime. It's, it's pure is what I hear. There's a purity to it. There's an absence of heaviness or darkness because I think for some of you, you've had that this time around. I was also hearing, because we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Six of Cups, and then the Hierophant, which for me is marriage or can represent a solid commitment, but I was hearing that whoever you marry next lifetime, I feel like you are either with them or know them this lifetime in your current incarnation, and it does appear as though this is someone that you've had many incarnations with, but I, I was getting a message that this is someone that you know this time around. And as I was feeling with wisdom, I think you've gained tremendous wisdom and you're almost ready for a smoother journey so that you're able to really focus on healing, uh, expressing love with family, your children, friends. There's a really heart-centered energy to this spread. You can see with strength, I do feel for some of you this incarnation, you may have had to go it alone or you've had a period where you felt that others weren't there for you, but that was for you to develop your own opinions, your own mind and your inner strength. And so you weren't distracted by external, external energies or extraneous influences is what I'm hearing. And with this seven of pentacles, I see this as in this lifetime, you've invested in yourself, but next lifetime, you're going to invest and give a lot to a family union, to a love relationship, to a connection. And I'm all, almost hearing the fruits of your labor will appear next time around. It's almost as though everything you've learned and gained and everything you've been through, you will see the benefits in the future because it's precisely because you are willing to take the difficult journey this time around that you will attract and have a really beautiful partnership and family. Now, I'm not saying in your current incarnation, you can't have love. You, you most likely or currently do have. It's just a sense it might have been a difficult journey to achieve love in this incarnation where this time around, I see this as, and when, with innocence and the six of cups, your partner might be someone you meet you know, in your high school years at a younger age, I just get the sense that you will find each other effortlessly and you may settle down and have a family quite young because you're so clear on what you want. Okay. And as I was feeling, I feel like I keep seeing two children and I see a male and a female. So I think you most likely will have two children, a boy and a girl. But for others of you, it's just this energy that I just feel like it's idyllic. When I, the scenery I'm seeing, like the location you set up in your home life, it's just so pure and beautiful. Like it's just effortless. Everything flows. But I do think, I, I was hearing when I held this card that you've burnt away karma or you've burnt away a lot of the darkness. So I do think that's what's happening in your current incarnation. And with the Hierophant, I think this is a long lasting commitment. I think this will be a union that does uh, stand the test of time, or at least that's what it's showing in these cards. There is this sense that you two will have a really prosperous and beautiful commitment, and I'm hearing it will happen very quickly. It's almost as though you know immediately that there's something here, and I think you meet each other at a very uh, kind of young age. Now, with the King of Pentacles, it could be your partner in the future could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I just get the sense of stability and abundance. I think in this lifetime, you won't really need to worry about finances or security. There's a sense that you're completely stable and secure. For some of you in this current incarnation, you may have had to really struggle to establish your own is what I'm hearing. But I think in this future time, everything's going to be incredibly balanced. 
Now, with the King of Wands, it could be a fire sign as well. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But I'm feeling as though this is a passion that both of you share. I'm also hearing you'll be given the opportunity to follow your passions in regards to healing. Or I do see it as helping or aiding others. But you do it from the comfort of your own space. And I still think you juggle and balance you know, children, family, everything. It just seems really uh, stable and loving whatever you end up creating together. I'm also hearing that your partner in this lifetime will be very accomplished, very abundant, very creative. And with the world, I feel like you both build a beautiful world together. But I do think this is the blessing that the divine has granted you because of how much growth you've achieved. And I'm hearing you've reached a certain level of consciousness and self-actualization in this current incarnation. So I do feel... I mean, you can't get cards that are more beautiful than this. Like, this is almost like a dream. It's so uh, kind of perfect and pristine. But I am I am being shown that you've had a lot of difficult and challenging lifetimes in order to receive this. I don't feel as though this is just, you know, this just came out of the blue. I do feel for a lot of you, you've had a lot of karmic struggles or battles around self-worth, self-love, finding love, money. And it's almost like this time around... It's just beautiful. It's pristine. It's pure. It's it's true love as well. Because I do feel that this is a really amazing connection and union. So that's all I have for you, group one. If you enjoyed the reading, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Hi, group number two. So for those of you who chose the par with the rainbow fluorite, I'm getting multiple uh, impressions from these cards. So first off, I was hearing when I saw this card... For some of you, I feel like you may be born into kind of South America or Mexico. I don't know why I was hearing that, but those were the two impressions I had. And we have let go of the need to be right. With this particular card, I'm hearing that you're letting go of common consensus. This lifetime or the future lifetime for you is going to be around movement and expanding your consciousness and your conception of what you want. It's almost, I'm hearing that you're going to blow away any restrictions or limitations that in your current lifetime may have kept you bound or made you, it may have left you feeling like you couldn't move. You couldn't have the life you desire. And I was also hearing for some of you, you may be born somewhere in the Middle East. At the very least, I do feel as though you will have dark features and you very well may be female. But I'm getting the sense with this card, we have traveler, move in a new direction. For some of you, I feel like you may even be nomadic in the sense of you will always be exploring. You may even choose a career or a line of work that involves movement. Like almost like an archaeologist or just something... Uh, like an environment, someone environmental engineer, just that energy that you work closely, I think, out in the open or it, it involves constantly moving and exploring and also learning. You will be growing and expanding your mind in this particular lifetime. And then we have arrow, surround yourself with protective energy. What I'm actually getting from this card is that you're going to find what you want, like your true north, your direction. I feel in your current incarnation, you may have faced or experienced some sort of family pressures, obligations. You may have relationships or a career that you find stifling. I'm just getting the sense that in this current lifetime, there's been things that have tried to keep you down. And for some of you, it might even be a lack of money that's left you feeling like you can't move in the direction you want. You can't receive what you desire. But I feel in this particular future lifetime, it's going to be a case of you throwing caution to the wind as well. I just keep feeling like you're going to be very much free because we also have freedom, new beginnings. Now with this card, we have night, be brave and honest. So I think that lifetime, you're going to be incredibly courageous. You're not going to allow fear to stifle you or to hold you back. And I'm hearing you're going to tread ground that others would be that others would not be brave enough to do. So there's a sense that you're going to just do exactly what you want. I keep hearing throw caution to the wind. This future lifetime for you is a lifetime where you get to be whoever you want and move in whatever direction you desire. There won't be any kind of fear or limitations that stop you. I think you're also going to get in touch with not only the power of your mind 
and your ability to manifest, but there's definitely a element of learning. So you may almost have quite an extensive academic background, or you may really teach yourself something and become very knowledgeable in a particular topic or field. And then you move around with whatever that type of work is for you. It'll vary. But I'm also feeling this night, you see him clutching for me a sort of truth and his eyes are closed because he's listening to his truth. So in this current life, you may almost be easily influenced or swayed by others because with this arrow, I'm hearing that you're not allowing external energies to change your course. And I also think you'll be born into uh, a lifetime where you have, it's less restrictive. It's less restrictive in regards to how you can move in regards to family pressures. And for some of you in the future lifetime, you might throw aside what perhaps trapped you this time around if that resonates there's a sense that if in this current lifetime you felt obligated by family in this one when i was hearing throw caution to the wind you might almost i do feel you'll be very rebellious and very strong-willed and it might be it might be seen as contradictory to your culture your religion your family but i do get the impression that you're going to do whatever you feel is right because with thought I do think you're going to be highly intelligent and I'm not saying I mean this lifetime around you might be incredibly bright as well but there's an opportunity in this future life to expand your mind or reach new heights beyond what you currently have there is this sense that your your inner self or your awareness of your capacities is enhanced and I think you're going to be recognized as very knowledgeable you're going to be well respected and revered but you may lead a life that's very unconventional because for some of you i'm also feeling you may decide for perhaps to not have to not have children or perhaps to just have one and spend a lot of time focused on you on your career on your mind on your growth even if you do choose to have a family and a partner there will be tremendous freedom like you may even be someone that travels with your partner and your child there's a sense that you're going to just, I'm um, just, it's like you're following what your passion is. And I do feel it's going to take you all around the world or at the very least, it's going to create a lot of movement with awakening. I feel like in this lifetime, you will be awakened to some sort of truth, or perhaps you'll reach a new level of discovery in a particular field that you've trained in. So almost this sense that you might be a pioneer or you're pushing the barriers of consciousness is what I'm hearing. There's a sense that you expand other people's minds to encompass the truth you've now discovered in the world. I'm also hearing for a lot of you, you've awakened to your potential. You've awakened to what you have to offer, who you are, what you want in the world. And with freedom, again, this freedom is really strongly emphasized in this spread. I feel like you're free to take flight. You're free to become your best self and to live your best life. But I do feel for a lot of you, there will be a lot of beginnings for you in regards to you're going to constantly be, as I was saying, pushing the barriers of consciousness, growing, expanding, developing, changing your mind. This is a lifetime where you're reaching for higher truths, reaching for new levels of being within yourself. This isn't a lifetime in the future that's focused on others. So if your current incarnation, you have a lot of pressures in regards to caring for family or caring for your partner or children, I think in this future life, it's going to be very different. And with the high priestess, what's enabling this to happen is your willingness to listen and hear your truth. You also are able to intuit your purpose. I feel like you're someone in this future lifetime that will know from a very early age what you're here to do, what your calling is, how you want to change or influence the world. There's just this sense that you're going to be in perfect alignment with this inner truth and you're going to part of why you're moving and traveling in new directions is because your intuition is leading you to do so. So for some of you, I just see in this current incarnation, you may have restrictions and it very well could be restrictions around finances or just restrictions in regards to what you believe is possible for yourself. I'm also hearing in this future lifetime, you may not have a solid home. You may almost leave your childhood home early to explore and travel, or you may decide to kind of live on the road is what I'm hearing. I'm almost getting visions of people, a family that moves around in like, 
in a van, not because you lack abundance. I think you're going to be very abundant, but you really value your freedom. And for whatever line of work you're doing, there's constant movement. It could almost be just living, you know, spending half the year living in hotels or living away from your home. But for a lot of you, I feel like you may almost choose a more nomadic existence. And with the devil, for me, this relates to your current lifetime. There's some sort of, it's a really strong emphasis that there's some sort of restriction or limitation, whether it's financial, whether it's within your own mind, because we have the devil and death. And I feel this lifetime you have developed a lot of courage. So there's almost a need in your current incarnation to overcome fear or to overcome anything that makes you feel that you can't manifest and have what you desire because you can. So for some of you, I feel like during this lifetime, you have gone through certain transformations as it pertains to fear, as it pertains to your mind and what you feel you can and can't do. So perhaps this current incarnation, you experience an overcoming of that and it sets the stage for this future incarnation of movement and bravery and following your own instincts, even if it goes against social conditioning and norms. But for others of you, you may not reach this point and you're going to learn that lesson in the future. There's very much a, a sense of following your gut and your instincts and following exactly what you're on the earth to do, even if others don't approve. And for some of you in the future lifetime, there may be religious pressures in regards to and cultural pressures uh, in regards to what you're choosing to do. But with the two of wands, if in this lifetime you face indecision, and I do feel this indecision emanates from fear, I feel as though with this, future lifetime it's laser focused there's just laser focus on who you want to be and what direction you want to move so there is this sense because we have the two of wands and then we have the hangman and i feel like this pertains to your current incarnation perhaps you get lost in the mind in the thoughts and you find it difficult to act but in this future lifetime you're you're a go-getter you take action you do exactly what your heart tells you you don't sit and wait and ponder like this path, this one. And, and then eventually I feel in this current incarnation, you may have a habit of not moving at all or missing. I'm hearing missing opportunities because you spent too long in this state, because in this future life, you are the alchemist. You will create and manifest exactly what you want. And you're not going, and I'm hearing you're going to burn away fear and limitations. You're not going to allow pressures and religious programming or cultural conditioning to stop you from doing what you desire. And with this Prince of Cups, I am getting movement from this card as well. But you're sharing, for me, this cup is your idea. Whatever this work is, whatever this new concept is that you've uh, found or established and you're a pioneer of, you then travel around sharing this cup with others. The cup of knowledge, the cup of self-actualization, the cup of wisdom, whatever, however it plays out in your particular life. But that's all I have for you, Group 2. If you enjoyed the reading, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Hi, Group Number 3. So for those of you who chose a par with the Smoky Quartz, this spread is absolutely amazing. So just to point it out, we have, we have Guardian mentioned five times and Protection. So there's six cards around spiritual protection. We have Water Guardian, Guardian Angel, direction guardian air guardian guardian angel protection so you have six cards of spiritual guidance and protection now what i was sensing for some of you the early part of your future lifetime may be very difficult and it involves negative energies i feel in your environment or around your relationship with others for others of you i think your current incarnation has involved this and it could be a little bit of both there's a sense that there's been wounding at the hands of others that has led you to need to heal, but it's created a lot of depth and compassion within you. I also think there's six cards of spiritual guidance and protection in this spread because in your future incarnation, you're going to be a spiritual healer of some sort. It's almost as though you're receiving or you will be receiving spiritual protection because you then lend your compassion and your healing abilities to others. And it's almost as though spirit has a vested interest in you uh, living out your mission. So starting out, and yet again, we have compassion and we have a guardian angel watching over this woman. Like this spread is absolutely beautiful. And like you can see butterfly. 
So there's been some sort of transformation or there will be in your future life in regards to your authentic vulnerable self. There's been some sort of wounding or harm caused by another that needs or leads to a, a transformation on an emotional and spiritual level. Now, for some of you, as I said, that could be what you've gone through in this current incarnation. For a lot of you, I feel like that might resonate. But for others of you, that that might happen early on in your future incarnation. I just get the sense the wounding you perhaps felt or received at the hands of another makes you the perfect uh, role model or individual to help others heal. There's just this sense that you have tremendous compassion and love, but it does first emanate from the love you've developed for yourself. I just saw 222 as I said that, which for me is angelic protection. This reading is absolutely beautiful. So there is this sense that you have so much compassion within yourself, or at the very least, you will develop it through your healing process. And then you're able to deliver your protection, your wisdom, and your love to others. And I think spirit will be supporting you in this mission. There's a really strong sense of a spiritual mission in your future lifetime. And for some of you, you may already be working in your current incarnation around healing, or you may have the desire to help others heal. I do feel at the very least you're a very gentle individual and for some of you you might be a water sign because we have water guardian and the princess of cups. So that could resonate but in this future lifetime it wouldn't surprise me if you if you incarnate as a water sign or have water prominent in your chart. Now here we have protection. I think first of all spirit will be protecting you as you go through this transformation but you can see this woman's channeling energy she's regal and she's regal and graceful i'm hearing because of she's like the swan she's become the swan through everything she's encountered and i think that's encountered through multiple and many many lifetimes i don't think that was just from one incarnation but it's almost as though that's a theme through your journey is you transforming and healing things within yourself to then be able or become a more powerful healer to help others and offer divine protection to others. And with guardian angel, for some of you I'm hearing in your future lifetime, if you don't already, you're going to be able to communicate directly with your spiritual guides. They're going to be giving you wisdom as it pertains to helping others heal or helping others on the journey and process of transformation. There's just this sense that not only are you divinely protected, but they are divinely protecting you. Not only so you can heal and transform for this life path to be successful, but they're guiding you to help you channel energy to others. And with release, there's something that has or in this future life will wound you that will need to be healed and released. And I do feel it was at the hands of others. It could be some sort of abuse or just painful, painful behavior towards you. I'm hearing as well, you have a very bright light and spirit can see and not even spirit. Others can see that you're a light worker and that you're different, but it may almost attract heavier or darker energies. There's just this sense that because you radiate and you glow, it's you can sometimes be a target. Because I was seeing with this Five of Swords and the Ten of Swords, there's a closing out of some sort of chapter or difficulty. And for some of you, this could be happening in your current incarnation, as I keep saying. And in this future life, you'll use that wisdom. But I think it's a bit of both. And I do feel as though once it's fully transformed and healed, yes, it causes this hermit energy. You look within, you pick up your spiritual path is what I'm hearing, because I do feel as though you're very much a spiritual teacher in this future life. And here we have guardian angel. You are not alone. I think during that future life as well, you will be experiencing tremendous synchronicity. You may see feathers. As I was sensing here, you're going to be able to commune directly with spirit that you will have a lot of spiritual helpers and support and love around you. But you're also able to deliver these messages to others. I feel as though you're the epitome in this future lifetime of you're almost a cross between like a, a counselor, a therapist, a psychic. Perhaps you do energy healing. I feel like you will be doing uh, varied modes or methods of healing. There's just this sense that everything you've learned and discovered over many incarnations, I'm hearing that it's going to all come together. It's all going to fit together and there's a really strong sense of life purpose or calling in this spread. 
And here we have air guardian, shift your perception. I think you will be enabling others who have perhaps been victimized or wounded in some way to shift their perception into uh, or towards healing. There's a sense that as you work with others to heal their emotions, heal their mind, it transforms their experience. And with direction guardian, we have choose your path. But I feel as though your path will choose you. I think you will know... If there is some sort of painful experience or trauma early on in this life, it sets you on your spiritual journey. But I don't want you to be afraid of something terrible happening to you. Like it's, it's a sense that it all ends beautifully and it all weaves together. And for some of you, I feel like you have already overcome a lot of trauma or just a painful behavior of others towards you because I think they do sense and feel your light and your power. But I do think you will be, because you're in touch with spirit so clearly in this future life, it will be really evident what you're here to do. And I'm also being told you will be very abundant as you follow this spiritual mission. You won't need to worry about money and income in this particular lifetime, because as you give and share your love and healing with others, spirit is going to reward you tenfold. And we also have Water Guardian and it connects with your emotions. So for me, this is you going through your healing process. And I'm hearing as you go through it, you enter that phase of this hermit energy and it awakens your third eye even, even more greatly. And I also feel as though you have intuitive abilities in particular when it comes to people's emotional reality, when it comes to limiting thoughts or emotions that are keeping them stuck. And I see this abundance with this Princess of Pentacles. For some of you, you may incarnate as an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but I also feel as though you deliver your love and guidance to others. There's a sense that you have healed and fulfilled this within yourself and then the cup pours over into others' lives and into the world around you. Um, I do think this for me is people perhaps treating you in a way that is unfair or you know, kind of dark or negative energy that comes towards you. But I think you heal and you close out that chapter. So if there is anything p painful or difficult early on in this future life, I do feel it gets closed and healed quite rapidly. And it's precisely the situation or event that leads you on the spiritual path. It leads you to pick up or claim your healing capacity and what you have to share with others and also your vibration drastically lifts which means you can hear divine guidance more easily and you also attract more loving connections because after the hermit energy we have the eight of cups and for me this is you leaving behind these negative energies i was seeing with these swords there's a sense that any darkness or heaviness is released quite early on and then the spirit is also guarding you and protecting you, I feel, energetically so that this life path or your spiritual mission can come to fruition. And then you see with this princess of cups, you see a woman who's so comfortable with herself. She's gone through transformation. She's healed from painful lessons. She's very in touch with her heart space. And I'm hearing in tune with spirit, which she then can deliver to the world and others around her. It's a really, really beautiful energy. And with the wheel, it ushers in a completely new cycle, chapter. I feel like you will feel like you've lived two lives in one. The earlier part that perhaps was a bit difficult and painful, and then just the complete spiritual transformation that gives way to a beautiful beginning. And perhaps you will, I'm hearing in this lifetime, you will know yourself and understand spirit at a level and at, at a depth you haven't discovered previously. This is very much the energy of not only a spiritual awakening, but a, being able to truly and fully live your spiritual truths. It's really beautiful energy. So that's all I have for you, group three. If you enjoyed the reading, please like and subscribe and I will see you soon. Hi, group number four. So for those of you drawn to the par with the blue moss agate, I was hearing in your future lifetime, you're going to know yourself in a way you haven't experienced before, and it pertains to your vulnerability. Now, for some of you, I'm sensing in your current incarnation and current life, there may almost be a tendency to have your defenses and your walls up. I'm feeling this energy of a lack of trust, or I'm hearing it's almost like you feel you need to protect yourself. 
So I think your future incarnation, not only are you going to be incredibly sensitive and gentle in nature, but I also think you're going to explore your artistic gifts. I feel as though your next lifetime, you will be an artist and you, you will be expressing yourself in a way I'm hearing that's more raw and vulnerable than what you've had or felt before. So if you currently are engaged in creative projects, I feel as though it's going to reach a new level of I'm hearing purity. It's almost as though your energy is going to be so sensitive and gentle. And I feel as though you're going to be someone that really admires and loves beauty in all its form and manifestation, especially in nature and flowers. But I feel as though you might become a painter, a writer, some sort of artist. And I feel as though you'll be listening. It's almost like your ideas will come from divine inspiration. There's a sense that you'll almost receive visions or downloads in regards to what you want to create. So if in your current life you do have, you're a little more guarded with your heart space, I think in your future life you will live completely from that heart realm or that sensitivity is what I keep hearing. So with stag, we have trust and thrive. And yet again, I'm getting the sense of greenery. So you might prefer a more natural setting wherever you live, but wherever you end up, I think it will be incredibly beautiful. I'm also seeing you might dress in a way that's very kind of ethereal in your future life. Uh, it might be quite whimsical or... I don't know, I just get this very artsy, beautiful world. But with this card, I was feeling in your current life, I feel like you might have problems around trust, which is why those defenses have come up. For some of you, I do feel in your current incarnation, you are incredibly sensitive, but you may not show it very easily. There's almost this sense of having to put on that warrior persona or defense to try and protect yourself. I feel because you've had your trust broken in some capacity. There's a sense that someone or somewhere you've learned that you have to guard yourself in order to be safe emotionally. And with snake, we have shed old skin. So with this, I feel as though you'll be dropping your defense. You will be dropping that mask, that persona, that idea that you need to be a certain way. It's almost as though you live completely from spirit and heart in this future incarnation. Now we also have Druid hold the space. I think you're going to hold the space for your emotions and your inner truths. So if in this lifetime you have a tendency to almost push ahead or ignore your emotions, I'm getting a really tough, strong exterior in your current life. But there's a sense that uh, you become more comfortable or more receptive to your gentle side, your emotional sense. I feel as though you will hold your space for your emotions and your spiritual truths because that's what you're going to create from. And with this card, we have Protection Guardian, Drop Your Shields. So yet again, I'm getting this energy around defensiveness. For some of you, you might almost be afraid of your soul and the spiritual truths that come through the subconscious mind and you might be afraid of there might be fears around failure in regards to sharing that side of yourself sharing your creativity sharing your natural talents and it's almost as though in this future lifetime that energy doesn't come with you now with beauty as i was staring at this card i kept just feeling this woman's an artist she paints or she writes or she sings. I definitely feel painting and drawing really strong with this card. But at the very least, I think you love beauty and you love, you're you in love with the beauty around you. I do think this lifetime, this future lifetime will be slower in pace than your current incarnation. Part of why I'm feeling you may have defenses or you may have your guard up is because you need to always work and keep pushing. So you may have like a corporate co career this time around that you know, requires some sort of protection for you to survive. Like if you were this sensitive, whimsical artist, you may not survive so well in your current incarnation. But I do feel in the future, you're granted the time and space to not only hear your emotional truths and your spiritual reality, but to act on it. I'm almost feeling like this bird is like the divine whispering to her and giving her creative ideas and visions that she can then manifest in the world. So I will, I do think you'll be given the time and the space to really nurture and develop these creative ideas. And with patience, I feel as though you're going to be a very creative child and you're going to have a family that really accepts and encourages your self-expression. Perhaps in this current incarnation, your family were more perhaps academic or they wanted you to take a more mainstream path. They didn't nurture 
this budding creativity because for your future life to show so many signs of emotionality, creativity, spirituality, you must have all those qualities within yourself in the current incarnation. It's just a matter of whether they were nurtured. And with patience, I'm yet again getting that message around having a more peaceful existence. You may, I'm also hearing for some of you, you may be born into quite a wealthy family. I'm here, I'm feeling like England, somewhere in Europe, perhaps. And there's a sense that that almost permits you to get a head start in regards to your creative ideas. And with intuition, you will be very much uh, intuitive and a sensitive soul and divinely guided, but I don't necessarily see you working directly with spirit. It's more that I see this intuition and this spiritual, these spiritual truths as guiding your creativity. I feel like it comes up in beautiful forms, but people would probably not think that it was spiritual as such. And with the Princess of Swords, I feel like this might be you in your current incarnation. For some of you, you might be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, and you might be very kind of cerebral or practical and analytical. And I feel in this lifetime, you're very, in the future lifetime, you'll be very kind of watery or more more in touch with your creativity, your passion, and your emotions. And with the Seven of Wands, this was what I was feeling about competitive energy, defensiveness, having this guard up in your current incarnation. Uh, perhaps you've had people that have kind of overstepped your boundaries or broken your trust, and it's caused you to be very guarded with who you open up to or how you share your heart and your vulnerability. But there's a sense in this future incarnation that you are able to I'm hearing just follow your impulse, follow your passion. There's, there doesn't seem to be the restrictions that you may have faced in the current incarnation around sharing who you are, sharing your creative ideas and sharing your inspiration. It's definitely a very peaceful and natural but creative life, lifetime. And with temperance, I feel as though you will have achieved a level of balance between the mind and emotions. There's a sense that both have come into alignment and I'm hearing the mind now serves the heart space. So yet again, it's that energy in your current life. I feel like you may be very analytical or more cerebral, but it's almost as though with the eight of swords, those fearful ideas or thoughts or your practicality is almost keeping your soul captive is what I'm hearing, which is why in this future life, I think you're going to come in without any restrictions that inhibit your ability to create, which is why I was sensing you may have quite a wealthy family or you'll receive support and sufficient support that you're not forced to perhaps take a mainstream path to support yourself or take a mainstream path because your family haven't nurtured or don't support your choices. And there's a sense that you'll be presented in this future life with conditions that enable you to not only release fear or limitation, but the physical obstacles that may have very well kept you trapped won't be there. Because with the Two of Swords, I feel as though you won't be conflicted. In this current life, you may be conflicted between who you are at a heart level and what you enjoy and what you do out in the world. With this drop your shields, I almost am getting the sense of there's one self that you put forward or a mask that helps you survive in your physical life. And I do feel for a lot of you in this physical, this current incarnation, it may be necessary or you feel it's necessary, but there's not going to be that division within you in this future life there's as i was seeing with temperance there's balance between the heart and the mind there's just one path presented i think your creative ideas and talents will be nurtured at a young age and you will just follow that path and same with the shed old skin i feel like that was a defense or almost a false self but not in the sense that you're being dishonest a false self in the sense that you had to almost construct a guard or an image in your current life to survive with the three of cups i think you're going to be really celebrated in your future life for your success for what you've been able to create i think a lot of people are going to see tremendous beauty in your creativity in your ideas in what you're able to gift the world i also think you'll have really supportive friendships but i'm hearing creative circles so i feel like in this future life there will be a lot of other artists or people who are in a similar uh, field or have a similar talent that will lend their support to you. It's almost as though you, all of you support each other. And with judgment, 
I feel as though in the future life, you'll call judgment on anything that holds you back and old ways of living and being that didn't serve you. You will have stepped into a completely new cycle that I feel enables you to be authentic and wear your sensitivity as a gift. I also am hearing you'll attain new heights in regards to this creative skill or endeavor that you perhaps didn't believe you could reach. There's just this sense that I'm hearing spirit and the heavens are almost like uh, joyful and collaborating in your success. It's almost as though they're cheering you on because they, they always knew this was the potential you had. And this future lifetime is when I believe you receive the success and accolades you deserve for a particular creative skill or talent. So that's all I have for you group four. If you enjoyed the reading, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.